What's up? The guys at Better Boat sent me some boat cleaning stuff uh, for me to test out. And as luck would have it, my boat actually isn't that dirty. So uh, we're going to have to change that. Uh, boat's been out of commission for a couple weeks because I bent the axle. And uh, actually, I bent the spindle. I run off the road, of course, my boat followed it. And obviously, it was a big hole in the road. And my boat trailer hit it and bunny hopped my whole boat back onto the road and it landed hard. I didn't even really notice it until the next time I loaded my boat up. I backed it up to the garage to load it up and I looked and one of my tires was doing this number. So uh, it took a while to get another axle in. I put it on today. Hopefully I did it right. Uh, today is Friday the 13th. So let's hope uh, no bad luck comes of this. Uh, but. I figured the best way to try to dirty that boat up is do a little bow fishing. If you ever had a silver carp in your boat, uh, that can get pretty gross. So let's get the old G3 nasty so we can clean it up. Getting set up here. Pretty good day for bow fishing as far as bow fishing in the day goes. Bluebird sky and it's a little breezy but not too bad. Uh, sometimes you can use the wind in your favor because after these fish get shot at a lot, it's like they get a little little trolling motor shy. Uh, so you can use the, the wind to push you. You can use your trolling motor less, make it easier to sneak up on them. But, First off, we gotta figure out where they are. And what I really wanna shoot today is carp, silver carp. There's tons of gar in here, but all of them's real small. But if I do see a gar of decent size, I will probably pop a shot at it. I've been wanting to try gar a couple different ways, so might bring some of them home. And any carp that I shoot, I'm gonna cut up in the boat to make even more mess for some catfish bait. So let's, uh, let's sling some arrows. There's one. Let's get him cleaned up. Uh, guts are the worst. See how messy this one cart's done made my boat already? Oh, right, here we go. Put that right in the cooler on ice. Good catfish bait. Didn't get reeling that one in, but it was a head shot and he ended up floating up. I was able to gaff him and get him in the boat. So that's four. Four carp in the boat. I think I shot six and two of them came off. It been about an hour and a half. And I only brought four Ziploc bags. And I'm gonna go ahead and carve this one up, put it in the bag, and head to the hizzy. Camera's probably getting too hot anyways. It's like 95 degrees out here. We'll see you back at the house. Hot, 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 hot. 
all right it is the next day and my boat is really gross i mean i can smell it i feel so bad i feel like i've done my boat an injustice i hope it doesn't break down on me to retaliate or something but we're going to take care of it the guys at better boat have hooked me up with some stuff and we are going to knock this funk off the boat hopefully um go ahead and show you guys what they sent me they sent me some metal polish boat soap a deck brush I think this is a medium medium texture deck brush they have three different textures from soft medium and firm I believe at least three and then they also sent me an extension pole for the brush so uh, the main thing I'll be using obviously is the brush and the soap um, I'll have to find something to try that metal polish out on um, but I'm definitely want to put this stuff to the test because this I mean it is nasty nasty and it would be a lot more effective to take this thing to the car wash but I'm just going to use a regular garden hose today uh, I have a pressure washer here so if after the first round I need a little extra pressure I might have to resort to using it breaking it on out which i think i'm gonna wash my truck after this i'm gonna break it out anyways but anyhow better boat they are on amazon i believe they have their own website i will put the links to this stuff and their website down in the description so you guys feel free to check them out and uh let's get to washing this boat all right i went ahead and took all the stuff out of my boat the paddles and tackle bags all that stuff that i usually keep in here and I just want to show you guys just how freaking nasty. It's kind of hard to tell because it's camouflaged, but you see that right there? That is carp poop. This carp poop, blood, scales. You see the dark spots? That's blood. And it's just flies and bees flying around everywhere. And it, you can just smell it. There was chunks of meat in here yesterday i don't know where it's at i don't know if the bees ate it or not one of the last carp i shot had eggs in it that's like eggs right there that's disgusting so, so it's kind of hard to tell since my boat's camouflaged but it is super super nasty i mean like i said i feel bad for my boat so got a pretty big challenge which it, even the spots where the carp weren't, I mean, it's, it's pretty dirty. You can see, like, this is camouflage on the bottom. It just looks kind of brown right now. So hopefully that brush and the soap will clean it up. And then, I don't even know what that white stuff is. But I'm going to go ahead and take that cooler out. I'm going to go ahead and wa I'm gonna wash the motor and the power pole. You can see how gross the power pole is, too. And the motor isn't very spiffy, so... All right, I'm gonna take that cooler out. It's the last thing I got, and we can go ahead and start cleaning this old girl up.
Well, all right. That was a lot more work than I was wanting to do. <laughs> My boat was very disgusting. It was worse than I thought it was. I should have just done the video that first day, just washed it. I said it wasn't dirty, but I mean, it was kind of dirty. I went to like the next level of disgusting to get this boat just filthy. And better boat pulled through for me. So, if this stuff can clean a layer of carp guts, poop, and scales and blood, then I'm pretty sure it'll take that pond scum off that glitter boat you got in your garage. Uh, the brush come in handy. It's a lot of work off your back, not having to bend over. And the boat soap did good. It's cutting through all the <laughs> nastiness I had. It actually had, my boat's got a lot of mildew in it. I don't keep my boat covered. It stays out in the open because I'm dumb and I'm cheapskate. I, I, I really need to buy some kind of awning for it. It's just something I just keep putting off. Uh, all these trees I have, it, it creates like little black mold that gets on everything in my boat. And that boat soap and the brush really cut through that. And I can honestly say, this is the cleanest my boat has been since I've owned it. And when I bought the boat, it was practically brand new. So that says a lot about these products and this isn't just what they have they have all kinds of boat cleaning stuff and a bunch of accessories for your boat so be sure to check them out i really appreciate them guys for sending me this stuff to try out and i hope you guys check them out i'll put a link to their stores down below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one